In all my years tinkering with engines, steam, gas, electric, rarely does something come along that truly feels revolutionary. But right now, Toyota is making waves with a technology that could change everything. Imagine an engine that runs on hydrogen and emits only water. People call it a water engine, not quite accurate, but it captures the magic. The dream, cars that don't pollute, that keep the thrill of driving alive without the dirty tailpipe. Electric cars have made huge strides, but Toyota believes hydrogen is another path to a carbon-neutral future. They're not just experimenting, they're all in, developing hydrogen tech that could transform not just cars, but trucks, ships, and even homes. This isn't a distant dream. Toyota's been refining this for over 30 years, making it safer, more efficient, and more affordable. For heavy-duty jobs, they see hydrogen as the answer, a new tool in the clean energy toolbox. So what is this technology? It's not an engine that runs on water, but it's close. It uses hydrogen, the universe's most abundant element, and leaves only water behind. No smog, no soot, just powerful, reliable transportation that's kind to the planet. This is the story of how that idea is becoming reality. How do you get a car to run on hydrogen and only emit water? It's not magic, just brilliant science. The most common hydrogen car is the fuel cell electric vehicle, or FCEV, like the Toyota Mirai. A fuel cell is basically a mini power plant under your hood. It doesn't burn fuel, it creates electricity through a chemical reaction. Here's how you fill the tank with compressed hydrogen gas. The hydrogen goes to the fuel cell stack, where it meets oxygen from the air. Inside, hydrogen atoms split into protons and electrons. The electrons create an electric current, powering the car's electric motor. The protons, electrons, and oxygen combine to form water, HO, which is the only thing that comes out of the tailpipe. No explosions, no combustion, just clean, efficient power. The beauty, you get instant acceleration, a quiet ride, and zero emissions. And instead of hours charging a battery, you refuel with hydrogen in about five minutes. It's the best of both worlds, electric performance with the convenience of a gas car. This system could solve a lot of problems for clean transportation. It's a remarkable piece of engineering, and it's here now. Just when you think you've got hydrogen cars figured out, Toyota adds another twist, the Hydrogen Internal Combustion Engine, or H2's ICE. Unlike fuel cells, H2's ICE burns hydrogen directly, just like a gasoline engine, but cleaner. This approach keeps the sound and feel of traditional engines, which many drivers love. Fuel cell cars are electric vehicles that make their own electricity. Hydrogen combustion cars are classic engines adapted for a new, cleaner fuel. Toyota's testing these engines in race cars like the GR Corolla H2, proving they can handle real-world demands. The main emission is still water, though a tiny amount of nitrogen oxides can form, much less than gasoline engines and easily cleaned up. The EU even classifies these as zero-emissions vehicles. Why both? Toyota's multi-pathway strategy, fuel cells for maximum efficiency and zero emissions, H2 ice for familiar driving and easier manufacturing. Mechanics can work on them, factories can build them, transitioning is faster and cheaper. It's about options, silent, efficient fuel cells or the classic engine feel, all powered by clean hydrogen. Two paths, one clean future. That's real innovation. Toyota's not stopping. They've unveiled a third-generation hydrogen fuel cell system, a complete redesign to tackle hydrogen's biggest challenges. It's more powerful, lasts longer, and costs much less to produce. This is the tech Toyota believes will make hydrogen mainstream, starting in vehicles as soon as 2026. The improvements are huge, a 20% boost in range, doubling the fuel cell's lifespan, and slashing costs. Maintenance-free operation could be a game-changer, especially for commercial fleets. Lower costs mean hydrogen cars can finally compete with gasoline and electric vehicles. 
but it's not just for cars. This system is modular, like high-tech Lego bricks. It can power trucks, buses, trains, ships, and even backup generators for hospitals. Imagine clean hydrogen generators replacing noisy diesel engines. This third-gen system is the foundation for a whole hydrogen ecosystem. It's about more than commuting, it's about powering the future. Toyota's vision is big, and it's getting closer every day. The hydrogen revolution is accelerating. Hydrogen tech isn't just a lab experiment, it's already working in the real world. The Toyota Mirai sedan has been on the road since 2014, proving mass-produced fuel cell vehicles are possible. But the real power of hydrogen is in heavy-duty sectors, where batteries struggle. At the port of Long Beach, Toyota's Trigen system uses renewable biogas to produce electricity, water, and hydrogen. This fuels a fleet of heavy-duty fuel cell trucks, replacing diesel and cutting thousands of tons of co-emissions each year. These big rigs haul massive loads, travel long distances, and refuel in minutes. Toyota's also built mobile generators, backup power for hospitals, and a megawatt-scale fuel cell for renewable energy labs. From driveways to docks, hydrogen is quietly proving its versatility. The clean future isn't coming, it's already here. Is hydrogen better than electric? That's the wrong question. It's not a battle, it's about using the right tool for the job. Hydrogen shines in refueling and range, fill up in five minutes, go farther, especially in cold weather. For long trips or heavy duty work, that's a big deal. But battery EVs are more efficient overall, and the charging network is huge, you can even charge at home. For daily commuting, battery EVs are hard to beat, efficient, cheap to run, and convenient. Hydrogen is perfect for long-haul trucks, buses, ships, wear range, payload, and fast refueling matter most. A battery big enough for a semi-truck would be massive and slow to charge. So both technologies have a place. The future is about matching the solution to the need. Hydrogen and electric aren't rivals, they're partners in a cleaner world. That's the real win. Hydrogen's biggest challenge? Infrastructure. You can't sell hydrogen cars if there's nowhere to refuel. Right now, almost all US stations are in California, just 54, compared to over 55,000 fast charging sites for EVs. Building hydrogen stations is expensive and complex, needing special equipment for high-pressure gas. Solving this will take massive investment from governments and industry, like building the interstate highways decades ago. Then there's hydrogen production. Most hydrogen today is grey, made from natural gas and releasing co. The goal is green hydrogen, made by splitting water with renewable electricity. 100% clean, but currently expensive and not yet widespread. Projects like Toyota's Trigen show local, clean hydrogen production is possible. But scaling up is a huge challenge. We need more renewables and better electrolyzers to make green hydrogen affordable and abundant. Overcoming these hurdles is key to unlocking hydrogen's potential. The technology is ready, but the world needs to catch up. With the right push, hydrogen could power much more than just cars. The future depends on building the network and making clean hydrogen at scale. That's the next big step. So what does all this mean for the future? Toyota's hydrogen push isn't about beating electric vehicles, it's about building a flexible, robust clean energy future. The goal isn't one winner, it's getting rid of fossil fuels. Battery EVs will likely dominate daily driving, they're perfect for commutes and have growing infrastructure. But batteries can't do everything. Hydrogen fills the gaps, especially for heavy-duty transport and industrial needs. Hydrogen combustion engines keep the spirit of performance cars alive, but cleaner. Toyota's vision is a world of choices, electric SUVs for families, hydrogen trucks for freight, all working together. It's not a competition, it's collaboration. By pursuing both, we build a resilient, adaptable energy system. No matter the job, 
there's a clean, powerful way to get it done. The road ahead is wide open, with plenty of lanes for everyone.